So you finally have your course idea validated, and now it's time for you to roll up your sleeves, get your coffee, and let's start planning your content and launch dates. Hello, Corporate Misfits. If you're new around here, my name is Brittany Darrington, and welcome to the Corporate Misfit channel, where we talk all about digital marketing and course creation tutorials for female course creators and coaches who want to stop trading time for money and really build a freedom bound business. Now, if you're still looking for a platform to help you launch your course or your coaching program with ease, I highly recommend my favorite all in one platform called Kajabi. Not only can you get your online programs out into the world in no time, you can also level up your marketing to help you get people to your actual program. You can learn more all about Kajabi and some of the other amazing resources that we have in store for you to help you get up and going in the description box. And while you're there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified of our videos. So are you ready for part three of the course creation sprint series? If you're just tuning in, go ahead and check out the description area so that you can see some of the earlier trainings that I've created to help you get started with creating your online course. Now let's get to the good stuff. You're finally confident about your course idea and you now have everything you need to move forward with planning. Now, the most important thing that you should do next before you do anything else, before you start telling people about it on social media, you need to identify your client's journey from A to Z. You have to figure out the best way to go over your content planning and you want to also identify your launch dates so that your clients get the maximum results. Can you do that for me? So now here's a pro tip before you get super excited and overwhelmed at the same time with this whole planning shebang. I want you to be realistic about how much time you really have. I know you're probably saying, Brittany, this is not what I thought I was going to hear in this video. So whenever we are planning and we're in planning mode, one thing that we're most likely to do is we're either, either going to overestimate what we can do in a day or we're going to underestimate what we can do in a month. I know I've had many times where I thought I was going to be able to crank out a full course in a week, but it ended up taking me a month. The reason for that is because we have all types of surprises, celebrations, emergencies, outings, or things that might take up more time than we expected. And there's still a ton of other stuff that we didn't even probably plan for. So I want you to think about how much time do you have and what do you need or how can you set up some time to put aside to build out your course, your assets, and everything else. I remember when I set out to create my online course, and one thing I did was I sold it before I actually created it. I figured that if I could get bodies into the seats and get them into the program, I'll be able to go back and actually record it later. So I recorded the first module. That's all I had out of seven modules. And boy, oh boy, was that a crazy decision. So I started selling the program to a bunch of people and I was super excited and super happy going through the process of launching. But then once I got to a place where I had to start creating all of my courses and my assets and the lessons and modules, let's talk about overwhelm. It was the worst decision I ever made. I ended up spending all of my days, my nights trying to get everything done just so I could keep up with my students and make sure that I was ahead so that they can get the resources that they would get. So instead of celebrating at the very end with my students who got results, I was exhausted, I was burnt out, and I was ready to just go and take a nap and get some more sleep because I spent the last couple of weeks feeling overwhelmed because I didn't plan accordingly and I wasn't realistic. So I really want you to think, what's realistic for you? Maybe you have kids, maybe you have activities or things that you are part of that are going to demand your time. So identify what that is and then you can get to the next place. Now I want you to identify your launch dates. Now this is really important. If you really want to plan out your schedule for launching and building your course, it's important for you to set some strong, important dates out in the future so that you know how to work backwards. When you identify what dates you are going to launch, what dates you're going to execute, it then helps you to stay on task and also be able to hold yourself accountable. Another thing that I have found is that when you say these dates out loud, when you tell people about these dates, you're most likely going to make it happen. 
So one thing that has really helped me when it comes down to launching, I don't care if it's pre-purchases or if I'm launching or whatever it may be, I like to get a gift and pre-buy it for myself so that when I actually launch on that date that I said I was, I give myself a reward for achieving it and making it happen. I'll tell you, you don't have to have a concrete schedule. There are going to be things that change along the way, but I just want you to create dates so that you ultimately can make a game plan on when you're going to record, when you're going to actually launch and share it with the world so your procrastination does not become your enemy. So here's the deal. There will be days where you feel like you just don't wanna record, simple as that. There's going to be days where you just don't feel like writing email copy or actually designing or doing things along those lines, and that's okay. But I want you to give yourself some leeway so that if those days do arise, you can actually make up for them later on with the time that you have allocated. Okay, so are you ready to really dig deep and work hard and get those dates put in stone so that you can make it happen? If so, then you're more likely than others to actually launch your course. It takes discipline, it takes consistency, and it takes someone who is willing to do whatever it takes to be efficient and make things happen. Now, if you're finally set on your important dates, you can now move on into planning your actual modules, your launch dates, your course build out, your sales pages, your copy, and all of the other things in between. Outlining your course and your content and figuring out the name of your modules and what workbooks to create and designing your assets, recording, all of that stuff will now come into play because you have created a game plan. The bottom line is this, if you are looking to actually create a course without it getting overwhelming or having to get to a place where you set yourself up for disappointment or failure because you didn't achieve that goal, then you want to get clear on what your customer journey is and also the launch dates that you are going to put in place associated with it. Like I said, corporate misfits, it's important for you to be realistic. I want you to look at this launch as a business and I want you to look at your launch as a way for you to connect with your tribe and serve the people you were called to serve. All right, corporate misfits. So if you are looking to identify how to create your course outline, as well as identify your important dates, I want you to check out my launch runway guide and also my course creation outline planner that will help you to identify exactly what you need down below. And if you're still lost on how to actually create your first course or even your next course, then I highly recommend the all-in-one platform that I use, Kajabi. You can learn more about that as well as check out some of the amazing free resources that we have for you. And if you have any questions or thoughts about course creation or just wanna put your date out into the world, well, girl, leave a comment below this video and let me know when you are looking to launch so I can cheer you on along the way. All right, corporate misfits, I can't wait to see all the things that you accomplish and I can't wait to see you actually make it happen. I'll see you in the next video.